Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me for my last review of the year. Yep, this is it. After this, I'm going to take a couple weeks off, enjoy the holidays, enjoy my family, all that good stuff. So anyway, here we go. Today I've got the Luminox Constellation 100 meter automatic. And this is model number XA.9601.M. And basically this is Luminox celebrating yet another watch from aviation history. Uh, the Constellation was made by Lockheed, now known as Lockheed Martin. Uh, and Howard Hughes, who owned TWA, which is a very old airline, which I think went defunct about 23 years ago. Anyway, TWA stands for Trans World Airlines. Anyway, Howard Hughes, y'all might have heard of him. Uh, he flew one nonstop from Burbank, California to Washington, D.C. in just under seven hours. And this was in 1944. So quite the aviation feat, you know, what, 70 some years ago. Uh, really, really incredible. Anyway, so Luminox wanted to celebrate this plane and that's what they're doing. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, you know the spiel. We'll go ahead and get into this, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel. If you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel, I do get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store. So of course, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, normal Luminox Pelican style case here. Y'all have seen these a million times. Here's your first little look at the watch. You can see that AR coating, by the way, that little blue shimmer there. That's your AR coating. Let's go ahead and take it out. Not a super, you know, not a super complicated watch. So this is not going to be a real long review. All right, what we got here? Of course, you have got your warranty card. And what is this? This is probably for like instructions and all that type of stuff. So a lot of manufacturers are not putting, you know, big old manuals in their watch boxes anymore because you can just do everything online as well as, you know, register the watch for any warranty or anything like that. Just do it all online. All right. I really like the look of this thing, man. It's a good looking watch for sure. So I'll go ahead and tell you the seven specs you need to know that I'll put the rest of the stuff, all the nitty gritty details down there in the description field for you. So make sure you check that out. If you want to know how much it weighs, like it's 185 grams, uh, the tritium lasts 25 years, all that other type of stuff. Just check that description field. Uh, so you're looking at a 42 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 14 millimeters thick. It's 49 millimeters lug to lug. Comes on a 22 millimeter stainless steel strap. Uh, it's only water resistant to 100 meters. You know, this isn't a dive watch, so what do you expect? And 100 meters, guys, is more than more than enough for just about everybody on the planet. But anyway, you know, unless you're a diver or something. It has a Salita SW200-1 movement side with a 38 hour power reserve. And of course you get that sapphire crystal with AR coating. So guys, I really like the look of this thing. I like that globe. I guess it's kind of like, a, you know, it harkens back to the Trans World Airlines because I believe they had a globe in their logo at one point. Uh, I mean, it's, it's obviously an aviation watch. You get a bi-directional uh, bezel here, 60 click, really nice, super stiff, good action on it. Really, really nice, lines up perfectly. Of course, you got your inner chapter ring with your 60 minute markings. Uh, again, there's the globe. You get a nice date window with a nice um, uh, border around it, that white border. Of course, you can see it says automatic and script. It says Swiss made underneath there. Uh, there is no loom applied to this dial at all. Uh, it's all the tritium tubes on the hour, minute, and I think the second is the second hand of it. Uh, I can't tell. Actually, it doesn't. No, it just has that little red tip on the end. Uh, so a pretty simple dial, uh, you know, a classic Flieger type of look. Uh, for this aviation watch. Uh, again, really nice bezel, really grippy, uh, and also, again, great, great click action on it. Uh, the crown is signed, screw down, really nice crown. I mean, it's a Swiss crown. So, you know, I've come to recognize a crown just by the way it feels now after reviewing hundreds and hundreds of watches. And you can tell a Swiss crown when you unscrew it and screw it back in. I mean, it's just buttery, buttery smooth. And it's also signed. Got your little Luminox logo right there, so it's signed. Case, I mean, no big deal, really. I mean, it's basically all brushed. I don't see any polished surfaces on this thing. I'm trying to find a polished surface. This bezel, by the way, reminds me of a Tudor bezel. That fine um, that fine coin edge right there really reminds me of a Tudor Pelagos edge on that bezel. Interesting. Uh, you can see that the crystal, 
Uh, it looks like it's actually flat, but it looks like it might have a slight little dome to it. Just a very slight little dome to it. Uh, but again, all the rest of the case is all polished. Really nice bracelet. Excellent articulation on this bracelet, as you can see right, right there. Really nice. There we go. Milled scissor clasp. And of course, I would expect that on a $1,000 plus watch. You got your Luminox logo there. You got your uh, security tabs right there. Your little clickers, little push buttons there. Uh, here's the case bag. This is one of the things I really like to watch for. Look at that case bag. That is really cool. That's the constellation. I still think, I, yeah, there's a, still a sticker on there, I believe. Um, but that is the constellation, like high relief. It's like a high relief, you know, American Eagle gold coin or something. It's really, wow, that's really nice. Super nice. And, uh, you know, I don't know anything about planes, but obviously this was a pretty big deal, you know, to fly from from Burbank to Washington, D.C. In, in a little under seven hours back in 1944. That's just crazy. So, anyway, so there you go. There is the uh, the back. I mean, that is really cool, man. Um, what else I want to tell you about this thing? No crown guards on the uh, the crown. This isn't a dive watch. Of course, that, that case back is a screw-down case back. A uh, really nice bracelet, man. I like this bracelet a lot. It feels really good. And didn't pull any of my hairs when I tried it on. Again, there's your Luminox logo, laser etched. Here's the, the, the tag, by the way. There you go. XA.9601.M. There you go. I mean, I think this is a, uh, it's a great watch. Got a really nice, that Salita movement is really nice. Um, again, not too complicated of a watch guys. This is going to be a really, really short review. I'm trying to think of anything else to tell you about this thing. Uh, I'm going to try it on here and then kind of show you what that loom is going to look like. But, uh, that's it. This comes in what, uh, three other different variations. Um, all of those other variations come on leather straps. This is the only one with the uh, stainless steel bracelet. Now, they do have another version that comes on a black leather strap with a black dial. But the other two, the first one's like a cream color dial on a leather strap. And the second one is like a very, very pale kind of like chalky blue dial. I like that one as well. And that comes on the same kind of like kind of bluish gray strap. So, uh, and you're going to save yourself about 100 bucks if you buy one of these on a leather strap instead of this stainless steel bracelet. But man, it's a good looking watch. Obviously it's got a great movement. It's Swiss made. Tritium tubes are gonna last you about 25 years. Now they're not gonna glow super bright, but they're gonna glow bright enough where you're gonna see it no problem. Um, so don't, but don't think this is gonna be like a, you know, a Seiko with the Lumabrite where it's just gonna, you know, glow like crazy. That, that's not gonna happen. But I mean, this is a watch that'll last you a very, very long time. You take care of it. It's well built. Uh, it looks great, and it's a shame that that case back is on the back where nobody's going to see it. Cause look at that thing. Look at look at the relief on that that constellation engraving, or I guess it's engraving embossing. I don't know how you want to say it. I guess it's engraving. But man, that is really nice, and I, I'm sure it has some words down there that I can't read right now. Um, but uh, check it out, man. Really, really cool. So let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick. I know it's going to fit because I tried it on earlier. All right, it's trying to slip off my wrist here. The tag is falling right where I need to to uh, hook this thing up here. All right, there we go. That took a little bit longer than expected. That tag kept getting in my way. Feels really good. Uh, it is a little bit heavy of a watch. I mean, it's 185 grams, so you're definitely going to know that you have something on your wrist. Uh, and this is really kind of my limit for watches. You know, 175, 185. I never want to kind of go above that, but it feels great. It's not too heavy, but you definitely can tell you have something on your wrist. Man, that's a good looking watch, man. And it's pretty legible. You know, it does suffer a little tiny bit of legibility problems only because, uh, I guess I got to take that back, because of the lines here in this globe, uh, they could kind of interfere with the hands just a tiny bit. Like if you were to look at this instantly, uh, you know, it might take a second or two to see what time it is. Uh, but it's not too bad. Pretty cool. I think maybe, you know what, I think the cream color dial would be much better for legibility only because it's got a cream color background and the hands are jet black. So I think that one's a little bit better for the legibility, uh, but still, I mean, you can tell what time it is. All right, let me go ahead and show you what the loom looks like. Let me show you these tritium tubes. Now I'm gonna shine the UV light on it. So the loom is just gonna go nuts. In fact, let me cut off everything here. Let's see if we can see it at all. There you go. 
Well, that's what the loom's going to look like. So you can see you got orange at 12 o'clock. You got orange on, I guess, the hour and minute hands. But let me show you what it looks like under UV. That's pretty good, man. And it's going to glow like that for 25 years. So there you go. There's the UV. There you go. I can't shine it right on it because it'll kind of black. Every, it'll kind of be too bright. But anyway, that's what it's going to look like. And then take the UV light away. There you go. Not bad, man. Just enough brightness so you can see what time it is. Let me show you again. There you go. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. I told you this was going to be a quick one, man. There's just not too much to go over with this thing. So uh, anyway, you can get one of these over at Luminox on their website. Luminox, guys, they don't offer any sort of coupon codes. They just never have. I've tried for years to get them to offer coupon codes. They just don't do it. Um, I mean, these are you know expensive watches. I get it. I understand it. But they're very well made. They're Swiss made. Sapphire crystals. Great movements. I mean, they're they're very nice watches. So you're gonna you know you're gonna pay for quality. And I really like this thing, man. I really like it a lot. So anyway, head on over to Luminox if you want to get one of these. They're $1,195 if you want to pick one up. Again, they come in uh, three different other colorways. All of those are on leather straps. Uh, so save yourself $100 if you want to do that. What else I want to tell you about this thing, guys? I think that's really about it. Uh, as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell. I, you know, I really appreciate all of y'all viewing my channel over the last year. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, it means a lot to me. And with that being said, I hope everybody has a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope everybody has a safe New Year. Don't, you know, do anything stupid like drink and drive. Uh, you know, everybody wants you to come home safe and sound. And uh, guys, that's about it. Until next year, I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.